Hello everyone, you are watching Taxeract and in today's video, I'll be showing you a brand new PS2 emulator for your mobile devices. So, this emulator has been around for a while now and I wanted to cover about it from so long. But now I finally got the chance. So, the emulator is, uh, its title is something like PS and the PS2 and PSP. Um, which uh, I guess basically indirectly means that it can emulate PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 and PSP games on Android devices. So, let me, I'll be showing you that is this emulator something real or is it just a copy of our legendary emulator ethers x2 so first let's open up the play store app and i'll be showing you the usage of this app as well so just open the app after opening the play store just search for ps2 by the way you will be getting link for this emulator in the description box below so as you can see there are these top emulators that will be shown here so for on number one there is ethers x2 and on number two is this Daemon PS3 emulator so which we all know about already and this is the emulator which I was talking about which is developed by Gamer Home alright so here are some screenshots and here is the info like it has got 17,000 reviews and 1 million plus download guys oh my god it is almost as same as Aetherus X2 so let's go to about this game section here is the uh, some basic info about this app and I noticed one thing I don't know why is it uh, this is written here that game emulator instead of writing emulator it is written here emulator and um, on downside also this is the same thing emulator but anyways maybe there is some mistake with their correction so let's just scroll down and here is some basic info basically the release date last update on number of downloads and requires uh, devices at least with android 5 which is really great it means it can easily run upon your older devices as well here is some permission don't think so that it it is going to harm anyone or maybe steal any kind of data so this is the app i have already downloaded it by the way for playing the games you will be requiring their uh, respective plugins as well so this app will automatically recommend you to download the plugins of your required game i have already downloaded this app from the play store by just clicking on the install button and also installing their plugin so i'll just uh, click on play so here as you can see there are some games that i have already uh, uh, selected in my directory or given the access to my directory here is this section where uh, download section where you will be able to see uh, this uh, games uh, section that it will provide you to download basically now this looks like similar to that rpcs3 emulator which i uh, discussed in my previous video the interface looks a lot more similar to it and also lamuroid i guess people are stolen code from lamuroid emulator maybe because it is open source that's the main issue here and they just use ether sx2 ps2 by the way we will see in this video so here is the setting option and in the setting option i have selected the directory of uh, my ethers x2 folder where all of the my folders are kept basically you have to just click on directory option and keep your ps2 games in a single folder or whatever games you are allow access to this folder now if you go to uh, the system section you will be able to see that my ps2 games are now arranged in this playstation 2 section and there are three games so i'll be running god of war and we will be seeing the FPS comparison for this app and with Aetherus X2 emulator. So as you can see that now look at this guys. It is written here that test version of Aetherus X2 app and should not be sold. If you paid for this app, you should get your money back. Which I guess clearly indirectly means that this isn't the real PS2 emulator. They just stole the code from Aetherus X2. I don't know why people are doing like there are coming up PS2 games in the market. Uh, fake PS2 emulators, PS3, PS4, PS5. I mean, so many. I have literally exposed, like, exposed uh, five to six of these emulators, and many other YouTubers have exposed these emulators in the community, uh, such as Aptrax and other YouTubers, etc. But uh, these guys are not stopping. I don't know when they will stop. Anyways, but anyways, we will just keep making content out of them, and. Both of us will be benefited so alright so let me just run the game so as you can see that I am running and here is the settings so I am just trying to optimize the game a little bit to get better FPS so alright so the game has started and I will be sk skipping it until it actually starts the gameplay.
intro all right so as you can see i'm literally getting really fps on cutscenes the fps increases a bit but then on gameplay it's really 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 lower like oh my god it's like just 10 to 15 fps nothing much So after playing this game for a little while I have realized it's completely trash. Now I'll be running this same game on Ethereum X2 emulator and as you can see that okay, alright so I'm optimizing the game. Currently you know without even optimization the game is so uh, a lot uh, the game is like giving 10 to 15 fps more than previous PS2 emulator which is really great our Ethereum X2 is still a hero and we'll also see after optimizing how much will it be giving. So I just lowered the resolution since Ethereum X2 is having a option of uh, a fractional upscale multiplier which is really great. I have the uh, I have set it to 0.5x and now the game is literally super smooth. I'm really enjoying it. So I really recommend you to download Ethereum X2 instead of downloading this app. Uh, so guys, by the way, you will be getting download link for this app in the description box below. I hope you like this video. And I'll keep making these kind of videos. So just support me guys by showing your love on this channel. And thanks.